are you? You're certainly not here. So, Pastor McKnight really married a nutcase? Define nutcase. <laughs> there are so many possibilities. But let's start with serial adulterer. Well, the old gal did seem to have a little trouble keeping her shorts on. But she had on shorts? From the pictures I saw, I couldn't tell. Right over your head. But seriously, I'm telling you, when I looked at those things, I wanted to cry. It just broke my heart because all I could see, all I could see was rebellion in there. Well, I mean, what are you thinking? Because their parents were missionaries? Because they were godly parents who dedicated their lives to his service. I mean, think of it. She had to have seen people's lives changed, people healed, miracles, and yet she chose to rebel. And not just against her parents, but against God himself. So why did he marry her? Why do you think? <laughs> Is out of control hormones? Give the lady her prize. <laughs> And you know that hormones that are not put under the authority of Almighty God get you in trouble every time. And the problem is, most of the time, those problems will follow you for a lifetime. Mm. So, as it stands right now, there is no Mrs. Pastor McKnight, right? No, nope. no Mrs. McKnight. And I feel sorry for him. I mean, man was not meant to live alone, number one. Number two, I've seen him when... I could tell he was lonely. Yeah. I mean, he just needs a good woman. He needs a godly woman, one that can walk next to him and walk with him in ministry. Yeah. Ladies, I just overheard you, and I'm so glad that I'm back from vacation. It seems, as you know, that I'm both good and godly. <laughs> and more than one man has found me quite attractive and, and stylish. I'm sure they have, Beatrice. I'm sure they have. That's Sister Winnipeg. Oh, oh. don't even. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. Well, 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 if it isn't, isn't Sister Winnipeg. <laughs> Looking mighty stylish as usual. <laughs> anyway, um, the Davidson wedding, we need Cookie. to... Uh -huh. Um, no, thank you. Uh, the Davidson um, wedding needs to be put on the Now, I didn't bake these myself, but when I am cooking, there's nothing like it. <laughs> oh. And uh, tonight, I'm fixing fried chicken and mashed potatoes with just a little hint of garlic. Okay, um, what's going on here? Well, Pastor McKnight, we think you kind of need to put yourself out there again. Um, just start dating. Um, you know, we think you need a new wife. Uh, a new what? And did I mention the buttermilk biscuits? They will just melt in your mouth. Uh, look, now let me tell and you. finally, a peach cobbler that will make you scream with delight. Oh, scream. <laughs> Probably what got him into the mess he's in now. Peach cobbler. Yes, ma'am. That peach cobbler gets you every time. <laughs> you know what? You two are ridiculous. Okay? <laughs> well, <clears throat> well, he's right. We ought to be ashamed. Not me. <laughs> All right. My sincerest apologies, Pastor McKnight. Now that's a little better. Okay. So, uh, the wedding. Uh, what's the date? Let's see here. It's August 12th. <clears throat> Uh, 5 p.m. They wanted to have dinner afterwards. A fried chicken and buttermilk biscuits. 
and and peach cobbler. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Trying to get this thing together. Weddings are always a solemn occasion. Can you? Can we be serious? Can we be serious? He's right. <clears throat> All right, Pastor McKnight. We have the date and we have the time. What we need now are the names of the bride and the groom, just as they're going to appear on the register. So that will be bride and groom. Here we go. That would be Miss Beatrice Winpeg and Pastor Derek McKnight. I'm out. I'm done. Out, out, out. <sighs> Cookies, Pastor. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I'm a chocoholic. <laughs> Pastor! I did not say that. Oh. Pastor! Oh my gosh, go get your chocolate, girl. Go get 